All right, guys, Rich here from the rcnetwork.com, and today we're taking a look at the all-new Futaba 4PV. This is their newest 2.4 gigahertz four channel radio system. Now, Futaba has definitely been around for quite some time and they were nice enough to send over this pre-release sample for me. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a box owner's manual or any of the supplement items that actually go with it, but I wanted to show you guys this thing first off so you're the first to see it here at the RC Network. So um, right here, th this thing is nice and the, the first thing that came to my mind when I received this in was it looks almost identical to the top of the line 4PX. And to give you a sample of the two right here, there's the 4PV and here's my 4PX. So it definitely has a lot of the styling of the 4PX, their top of the line radio, but it just scaled down just a little bit as far as the functionality and also uh, some of the features of it. So. Of course, in a top of the line radio, you're gonna have lots of bells and whistles. Uh, this is what's considered their mid high end radio. So it's gonna be more for the guys that are uh, getting out of the, you know, ready to run radio. They're, they're kind of, uh, graduated on to more of a, a kit style uh, radio. So that is definitely what this 4PV is. And to give you a side profile really quick, there we go. So very, very similar in design and styling as their top of the line 4PX. And that's what's nice about some of these companies is they kind of use like a trickle down theory of the radio. So right here, uh, let's take a quick look around the radio. We do have um, a very large backlit um, black and white screen. So I'll turn it on here in just a couple minutes, but it is not the full color screen you'd see in the 4PX. Uh, right here we have some uh, functionality buttons, including a nice toggle that's very reminiscent of the 4PX. So power button, plus minus, uh, directional and end. You have a display button right there to kick it back on. On here on the side, I think Futaba does one of the best uh, wheels on the market, the best feel. And I love the grips on these things too. Definitely a smaller wheel and it does come down with this slight drop down here. Now, like I said, this is a pre-release sample, so I'm not sure if it's gonna come with a full drop down like the 4PX does. So we do have trims here for uh, channel four, channel two, channel one, and channel three. We have a DL1 and a PS1 button right here. On the very underside, we have a couple more adjustment buttons, including another um, little slide button right there as well. So it does look like the uh, trigger is fully um, adjustable there. That's what's really nice about some of the Futaba radios is you can fully adjust the pull, everything on the trigger as well. So over here on the far side, we're looking at uh, charge port, headphone jack. Looks like we have some sort of um, receiver plug in right there for, for something. I'll have to read about that later on. And then on the bottom down here, just a spot for four AA batteries, and of course you have all of the options of a standard Futaba plug to plug into any type of LIFE or even a LiPo battery in there. So very nice overall. As far as receivers that it comes with, now my sample came with a R 304 SB receiver, but it's rumored that the 4PV will be coming with two receivers. The R314 is what I saw. So keep that in mind if you do plan to check this thing out. Um, now this does come with an antenna, but I have seen some 314s without antennas. Not sure if it was just for uh, the picture purposes. As far as some of the features that this 4PV has, of course it is a 2.4 gigahertz telemetry system. That's what the T and the model number stands for, T4PV. It is compatible with SBUS2 systems. It does have the receiver voltage display, outside voltage display, lots of different sensors that are optional with this radio system to get RPM, temperature, uh, all sorts of things. It does have a backlit LCD panel, but like I said, it is a black and white panel, not a full color like the 4PX. As far as other things, it is capable of doing four wheel steer mixing, uh, dual ESC mixing, neutral brake system, trigger position adjustability, like I showed you, seven millimeters is what it's stating. Uh, 40 model memory, so if you have 40 vehicles, you can hook it straight up to this 4PV. 
other things on this thing, ABS, idle up, throttle speed, throttle cut, throttle acceleration. I mean, it does everything that you'd want a mid to high end radio do. Well, let's turn this thing on and see what it can really do. All right, so powering up and just basically press down the power button like you would think. Gives a little uh, beep, nice blue LEDs right there um, on the front side. And if we look on the back side here, it has a nice bright one here as kind of like an antenna. One other thing that I saw initially was the writing on here does have that swivel antenna just like you would see in the 4PX, so pretty nice. Now, on my 4PX, I pretty much leave it down all the time. I forget to turn it up, and I've seen no uh, difference in uh, connectivity with my vehicle, So, but it is a nice feature that it does have that if you happen to be out and about. As far as the, uh, the menus right here, pretty nice uh, system, uh, clicking it down, I believe, or actually up, gets you to the menu system. All sorts of uh, different uh, menus in this thing. So you can go uh, you know, blind with all of the different functionality of this 2.4 gigahertz remote. So, well guys, that is a first quick look here of the 4PV radio system from Futaba. I can't wait to get this thing hooked up to a new vehicle and see what it can really do. Well guys, that's it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.